What's up boys and girls, Darkstar here, and I'm bringing you my Forge tutorial number one. Uh, this is how to do tapering the right way. Now a lot of people hate on tapering in racetracks, um, and frankly I don't blame them. Uh, usually when I see it done, it's, it involves big huge bumps on the track that uh, bounce you all over the place, and uh, it can get pretty ugly, um, and it makes for a uh, unpleasant experience when you're racing. Um, the way I do it, I keep it really buttery and smooth. Unfortunately, it's pretty taxing on your budget, but uh, it's worth it. You know, if you need a nice bank turn. Um, so basically, I'm laying out a whole bunch of uh, block 2x4s extending from a, a straightaway that I set up. And what I want to do is uh, basically uh, taper into a 15 degree turn here. So I need at least 15 2x4s to do that because I, I taper one degree at a time which keeps it nice and smooth. Uh, often people won't even notice that they're on a track that has tapering on it. Now right here, what, what you see is I've turned off rotation snap and I'm inching these blocks up just a teeny bit at a time. What you should be doing is about one degree at a time. So when you get to the fifth block, you should be at five degrees. Double check it with your rotation snap. Um, if it's not at, at five degrees, go back and adjust the other blocks to, you know, to keep it nice and even and smooth. Um, once I get to five degrees, what I'll usually do is take the next five blocks and kick them all up five degrees because of, um, that's a, my starting point. So I'm going from five degrees to ten degrees. Um, and once I get to ten degrees, I do the same thing um, until I get to fifteen degrees. But uh, you know, just inch them up a tiny bit at a time. Take your time doing this. Uh, you know, they made this easier on Halo 4 than it ever was before. To do this on Reach took way too much time, and you really had to. You know, think about whether if you really, really, really wanted uh, the tapering into a bank turn or not. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm compressing the tapering. I'm taking all those blocks and I'm merging them together. Uh, uh, what you want to do is use the markings on the blocks uh, as a reference point. And you, you can see that, that dark square at either end of the 2x4 uh, the block. I'm merging it so that the, uh, the end farthest away from me, uh, the block I, I move into place, just barely covers uh, that that dark patch on the block and that helps keep it nice and even if you compress it too much you're gonna wind up creating a jump um, unless you want to jump you don't want to do that so you know and frankly you don't have to compress it I prefer to um, but it's not necessary you know it's just kind of an extra step I take because uh, that's what I do so here you see the tapering up to 15 degrees. Now I'm going to move in this, uh, uh, what is it, the ramp extra large, I think that piece is. I move that in. Now it looks like I went over a tiny bit, so I'm going to delete the very last block, uh, the last 2x4, uh, because it's not necessary. Uh, those ramps aren't actually 15 degrees on the shallow side. They're a tiny bit under. So I usually wind up deleting the last block every time I do this. But then I'm going to set my snap to 15 degrees and set up the, the first part of a turn. You know, you guys can, uh, can do this yourselves. If you don't know how to do this, I'm not doing a tutorial for it. So come on, figure it out. So this is the first part of the uh, the turn for the 15 degree turn. And that's pretty much it, you guys. You know, right there you have one quarter of a NASCAR track. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Dark Star out.